Welcome back to the Survival and Basic Badass Podcast with Kevin and Chuck. Today, we're going to talk about prepping for the biblical apocalypse. Now, some of you are like, oh, I don't like all that. Jesus, whoa, you're getting excited and, and whatever. But I have to point out, you did sit through a Bilderberg group episode Mm -hmm. um i think we talked about the illuminati yep we talked about uh some other federal reserve uh my question to you would be is there a reason that you're afraid of god Mm. oh does this upset you apparently you should be looking over the notes (laughs) here turns out as we looked into things maybe you should be a little afraid of god um most of the books of the Bible, God's peace, love, happiness. Well, I mean, not the first half of the book, <laughs> but I mean, like somewhere in the middle for two or three books, it's yeah. all starting around Matthew. There's a few, right, right, you know, roses and sunshine or something. But then uh, things get a little hairy in the end. And so what I was thinking is we should do an episode and talk about some of the different plagues that might, uh, you know, come upon the earth in the uh, end times, in the tribulation, if you will, and some things we might do to uh, plan for it. Now, a lot of it, it's just going to be food storage, water storage, food storage, water storage, and we're going to repeat those things over and over again. Right. So if you're thinking, you know, now you might be like, oh, well, you know, I know about this rapture thing and I'm going to be gone. I don't know. I have no idea when that all happens. It's kind of back and forth. Every preacher has a different opinion on that. Mm -hmm. It might be before some plagues, after some plagues. Right. And the the book, the book of Revelations says explicitly right in the beginning that these are visions and symbols and this is not, this is not to be taken literally. Well, we're going to get a little literal with it, but. We're going to get literal, but. So that's it. So I just thought it'd be a fun topic. And, you know, basically you guys can maybe, uh, turns out most of these things are real things you should be prepping for anyway, except for the, uh, like demon locusts. Those, you know, I don't know. I've never seen that, but now is your time. Yeah. So, all right, let's get into it. So there's a couple things there. There's seals, there's trumpets, there's, there's all kinds of good stuff. So, kind of wanted to go through the trumpets first all right all right so the first trumpet you know the angel comes down and and blasts a trumpet right and it says a third of all the vegetation now this is grass trees everything will be destroyed by hail fire and blood right now if a third of the vegetation is destroyed i feel like famine might be mm-hmm. coming right that that's you might want to head over to my patriot supply or wherever you buy your long-term food storage mm-hmm. you might want to uh stock up those chickens that... and rabbits you were thinking about getting yep i think that might be a good idea and you're gonna be like you know i should have listened to chuck Mm-hmm. all right is this Split. where you want to be when jesus comes back oh <laughs> oh <laughs> All right. The next one says that the earth spits fire and sulfur and all kinds of other stuff. Sounds like a volcano. Mm -hmm. Now, volcanoes are kind of unique because, yeah, it sucks when that red lava is coming out to get you. Mm -hmm. But there's also this volcanic ash that seems to be the big thing that people talk about. Yeah, yeah. I read a lot about that. If you're if you're. They were saying if if you can't get get at, get away because mm-hmm. that's priority number one. If you're near a volcano, just time to go. All right. But if you can't, you need to seal up your house, close all your windows, doors, seal up the chimney, and you're gonna have to go out occasionally to scrape the ash off your roof now so it doesn't collapse the one on that you. Nobody uh, considers mm-hmm. ash is ridiculously dense uh-huh. and weighs a freaking butt ton. Mm-hmm. And it will collapse your house. And it if will it's, collapse your house. Yep. And really, anything more than an inch on there, you need to be up there shoveling, and and it comes down. It comes down heavy. 
Um, right. You might want to think about some of uh, those paper masks. Yep. Now, what I recommend, now this is cool, this is actually something I picked up on this weekend. Mm -hmm. You go over to the hospital now, now that it's flu season, they have those freaking paper masks everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. You can just like, oh, I'm There's walking down boxes. the hall, let me put yep. two in my pocket. Right. Oh, I'm down this hall. Let me put two in my pocket. I'm not sure that's what they were planning. That's what I do. But that's what I was planning. Yep. I was like, oh, look at this. I'm ready <laughs> for the apocalypse. Yep. They say, or long, if I get the flu. Long shirts, long pants, face masks, and goggles. Ooh. If you have contacts, take them out. No. You don't want to get involved with that. No, um, maybe put them in those little plastic cases mm, people have. Yeah. And the volcanic ash will destroy your engine. Really? So if you're planning on hopping in your car and you waited a little too long, they say the best bet is if you want to keep it running as long as possible, 35 miles per hour or slower. Okay. Now, I'm not an engineer. I don't understand how 35 or slower will work. I think the air but... intake. They're worried about your RPMs and mm -hmm. also with it kind of blowing in. Yeah, but it will destroy your engine. Um, so, so If uh, it's winter time, you may want to think about uh, maybe the recirculate on the heat, so it's drawing the air from, you know, inside. From inside, not Something outside. Something to think about. Yep. Secret of the pros right there. Uh-huh. Now, it um, says when you're evacuating, you know, obviously you're going to stay clear of the lava. But oh, you, you don't want to go through the red you stuff? Don't try and drive through it. What was that movie with uh, that hot chick who ended up being a lesbian? Um, That's like six, mo six no, movies. No, she dated Alan. Uh, Way back. And... And Hash. Hash. Okay. Was she in a she lava movie? She was in some movie. I think people were in the hot tub. And they started they were boiling? Like, or it was like Natural Springs Yeah, I, I vaguely <laughs> remember this. I don't remember the movie, but I remember people boiling in the hot springs. <laughs> and they were like, no! And their skin was falling off. Ah, oh, it's good stuff. Yeah. All right, so uh, watch out for the, the mudslides, because right. apparently that's a thing. Mudslides. And um, low-lying areas, because that's where the uh, Lola and riverbeds. Yeah, that's where the, the things are going to start popping up and where things are going to settle. Well, and that's the thing. In natural springs, obviously hot springs mm -hmm. are because they're close to, you know, lava, that kind of thing. Right. That's why you're getting that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be, you want to get out of the hot spring when the volcano happens. Mm -hmm. Secret of the pros. All right, number three on our list of uh, deadly trumpets that angels are going to bring is hell and fury. It is wormwood. You know about this? Did now, a little reading. All right, so tell me what you know about wormwood. Well, now they describe it as a uh, falling star or comet right. that would uh, destroy once again a third of the earth. Now. All these plagues seem to take out a third of the earth each time, but I think it's a third of what's left. Right. Is what you got. So a third of the vegetation and all that. Now we got, and the volcano actually destroys a third of all ships and creatures in the sea and creatures mm -hmm. on the land. Right. So that's going to definitely hurt your food supply again. Mm -hmm. And then, so once again, food storage. Possibly water storage, especially volcanic ash. Mm -hmm. And you're definitely going to want to do uh, water storage before the uh, the wormwood. All right. Now, now, so now we got wormwood. So now, asteroid. they describe it as turning the waters bitter. Okay. Now, scientists have, have recently said that comets okay. contain uh, cyanogen gas, which when it mixes with water, turns to hydrogen cyanide which has an almond odor and a bitter taste and causes death at concentrations over five parts per million, which is not much. Five parts per million. Um, now, what if I have, like, one of those Brito filters on my sink? Uh, you know, I don't know if that, that yeah. is going to filter okay. out cyanide. can't tell you that for sure. But I can tell you okay. that NASA is tracking comets, and there's a good chance we're going to know ahead of time if they hit. We're going to have a little bit of warning. A couple of weeks, uh, maybe a couple of months, possibly. Now, well, what if... Now, this is straight conspiracy, full-on, crazy. Mm hmm What if the government doesn't tell us? Oh, uh, have you ever seen that TV show, Salvation? No. Oh, 
Yep. I don't know anything yep. about yeah. this. So you guys might want to check that out on your Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be like, wait a minute. Some kind of planet-killing asteroid. And maybe the government doesn't tell the people because people might freak out. No. There was also that movie with Bruce Willis. Oh, where they flew up. A, we were going to have Armageddon. And, Armageddon. And Bruce Willis was like, He no, saved the day. You. Him and Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> the local boy. Uh, all right, so... Regardless, if you know a comet's coming, you want to get away from the coast. Okay. Because it's going to cause tidal waves, tsunamis, whatever you want to call those things. All right. Uh, you're going to want to bunker up. Get down below the ground. Get your food uh, stocked up. Your medicine stocked up. Your water mis- water stocked up. Now, as far as generators go, if you have uh, some sort of uh, uh, massive asteroid strike like that, your solar panels might not be working because... Uh, you know, and that's one of the future ones here. And don't here. worry about it. Next step. Because if this one doesn't get you, the next trumpet, that's mm-hmm. going to take care of your solar panels. All right. So you're going to want to bunker up with uh, food, meds, water. You want a radio, generator. You're going to limit the use on that because it might not be uh, uh, have all that much power. And you're going to want to stay active somehow while you're down in the bunker trying to ride it out. We've talked about it. Mm Mm-hmm. That's right. right. Now, number four. So you're like, all right, I got my solar. I'm hanging in there. I'm doing whatever. Then, bam, a third of heaven, the moon, and the stars go dark. That's right. So a third less sunshine. Right. Third less moon, third less Mm -hmm. stars. They just go dark. How are you going to deal? Now, I did. Wind uh, power. I did. I bet you that there's like crazy winds. I just think of the movie uh, Mad Max, maybe. Uh, windy. It's out there. It's windy. <laughs> so maybe you want that wind turbine, All right. right? All right. Now I was looking up uh, vegetables that you can grow in low light, though. Oh. Gonna you're want to stick with the root vegetables: potatoes, carrots, All beets, right. uh, turnips. Uh, nothing. You don't want to grow. Be growing any vegetables in low light. Uh, that that flower and then turn into a fruit, like um, tomatoes. So what you're uh, saying cucumbers, is I want to stock squash. up on vitamin C. Mm-hmm. Get your vitamin C ready to go. All right. Uh, another other vegetables that can grow decently well in low light are lettuces and spinach. And also, actually, vitamin D is the sunlight deficient. Yeah, vitamin D and C. Right. All right. Spinach, you said. Mm-hmm. Spinach grows good in, in low light. It only needs about six hours of daylight, but if you've got more open space, but and you only you have a third of sun. when you say six hours of daylight, that sounds like a third of the sun. That does. Or maybe two-thirds of the sun, <laughs> whatever. All right. Uh-huh. I like the way that uh, Prepping Badass has your back here. Um, all right, and number five. Now, number five is pretty fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> now, these are the locusts. Demon that actually locust. mm. demon locust. Well, that was I added the word demon. I like right? the, demon the Bible locust. didn't really actually use the word demon locust. Mm-hmm. However, the earth uh, cracks open and they come up out of the abyss. Right. They so can, that and, sure and sounds they're demon-like. led by they're led by Abaddon, which in the Old Testament was always a reference of the land of the dead. Oh, see. So they are coming from hell. All right. Now these have like breast like shields on their chest a little hard to kill mm-hmm. I think they mentioned something about teeth like a lion All right. human looking faces and hair and human hair very disturbing mm-hmm. and then they said they sting like a scorpion and that doesn't sound like anything I'd be interested in no, no and, but they don't but kill you they don't kill you they just torture you mm-hmm. not unlike a scorpion mm-hmm. however scorpions can kill you but they don't always it's a lot of time a little the bigger the better when it comes to scorpions that's the when role? it comes to scorpion stings if you get stung by a little one it's time to go to the hospital that's the end yeah i, I actually was watching a video because you know i like to get off topic and mm-hmm. you know how it is and uh it was in Afghanistan, and apparently they have scorpions over there. I all don't right. know about this and whatever. But uh, they're all sitting around the fire, you know, talking about how they're going to kill Americans and whatever. 
and they're just sitting there recording them because the Americans are like hiding in the bushes and a scorpion comes up and they're watching it and freaking bites the dude on the wrist and he dies and I'm just like nice (laughs) they just kind of take care of that for you Mm -hmm. one terrorist down um all right so now do you have any thoughts uh big fly swatters is that what you're thinking all right that raid Raid? I, I, I had a uh, uh, bee infestation, uh, not honeybees, yellow jackets okay. infestation. My uh, the wall of my house, believe it or not, and uh, man, Good. I must have blasted them five or six times, five or six different cans, different days, and they just kept coming back. Well, so I don't know what to do about it. I think you'd want to like seal up your house mm-hmm. now. Pretty much, um, you know, any opening, anything can get in. Yeah, this is things again nobody's ever really dealt with this before so i don't really know the right. next thing i have for you now you guys heard us mention flamethrowers a little while that's back that's right and i have good news elon musk heard us talking about it or at least that's bucks. what i assume yeah 600 bucks he put out a uh flamethrower mm-hmm. and it looks kind of badass but i feel like it needs a paint job yeah um, it's black and white, mm-hmm. and I, it just doesn't do it for me. My son brought this up with me Did uh, the other day because he was tired of shoveling snow. Sure. And so he's into the flamethrower. Yeah, I yeah. got to say, $600. Now it's getting in that, yeah, maybe, it's, That's maybe. the range where right. it's, it's possibility. So, flamethrower sounds good, but don't worry. I have good news for you. All right? All right. You ready? Turns out you don't have to worry about these hell locusts. Because they only sting people who took the mark of the beast. Okay. So you're good. Now you're like, well, wait, what if I did take the mark of the beast? Don't worry, you're going to hell anyway. Yeah. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you're, it's already too late for you. Yeah. So don't, don't get any microchips or tattoos in your forehead or hand. All right. We're just putting that out there. You know, you make it's just your a call. safety lesson. Don't get the tattoos, don't get the microchips. You know, whatever. You you make that but call yeah, for yourself. You do you. <laughs> that's it. But if you don't want to get stung by the locusts, mm-hmm. that's the way to do it. Now, here's the the, uh, the next one. Six Trumpet, an angel, comes out with a sword and kills another third of the earth by spewing out of its mouth plague Fire and brimstone. Mm. I don't even know what brimstone is, but I don't want that coming out of somebody's mouth. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, if it goes with with plague and fire, it's probably not a not, <laughs> not a, a good one. thing. Oh, that doesn't sound good. And so, then I don't really have a whole lot for that one. No? I don't know what you could do about angels spitting fire at you. But well, I think if you guys remember last week when I was like antibiotics, mm-hmm. that yep. stopping that plague. Now I don't know if it stops like angel plague yeah i I don't don't know know if that's like yeah your fish antibiotics now (laughs) dude no that's not gonna do it but you might want to give that a try now but then the fire maybe some kind of blister ointment something stockpile blister ointment right actually what i'd recommend is maybe find a nice cave and a lot of long-term food storage mm-hmm. <laughs> and a lot of freaking uh, water and pray those locusts don't get in there. Now, the demon locusts, yes. that's Revelation chapter 9, 1 through 12. If you want to read up on it, maybe you can make a little bit more sense than me. Um, but the, the angels... Who has better understanding than, than us? That's I mean, true. Really. That's a valid point. All right, but yeah, it turns out you can read about all this in the book of Revelation. You just mm-hmm. got to pick up a Bible. Yeah. Start they start used to on give uh, them chapter out in, eight. Like, prison or something. Now I don't you think find they them in do hotel anymore. rooms still. I think hit or miss. Um, you know whatever. Now I I did say there were seven trumpets, but it turns out it's just the last one. It's just like God. Yeah, saying say <laughs> you got you, man. That's it. So all right now. There's also seven seals. Now, you read about these seals beforehand in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But they, uh, I don't know. Again, the timeline, it's kind of all over the place. Nobody really knows. I don't know. All right, so the first one, um, 
there's a conqueror on a white horse, and I think he just comes in and like kills a bunch of people. Well, he's the the Antichrist supposedly, and through dis- diplomacy, he uh, unites the world. Oh, nice, nice. All right, the second seal is I don't know. My wife wrote these notes for me, so now I can't read it. And she and when I questioned it, I was like, "Could you print that and make it nice?" She's like, "What? You can't read your wife's handwriting?" And I was like, um, "Okay, <laughs> it looks good." I plead the fifth. We'll just leave that. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what she's saying. Um, oh, I got it. All right. So the second one said that God uh, removes the peace on Earth. People killing each other. All right. This is what happens. So I get anarchy, down with that. Now, right there. I mean, that's where what I've been telling you guys about building your own AR-15s, mm-hmm. handguns, right. stockpiling ammo, having multiple AR-15s. Mm-hmm. You know, I talk to you about this. Don't even, don't even tell me. So, third one, scarcity says wheat, barley, that kind of stuff. No more, huh? Gets destroyed. You're gonna have problems. That kind of fits the famine with the trumpets, all this stuff. Again, my Patriots ply. You guys know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I'll put a link in there that might even throw us a little kickback. I don't know. Whatever. Um, the fourth one, death and Hades. It says death by sword, death by hunger, and death by the beasts of the earth. Oof. Now... I kind of feel like the government's trying to bring that one on, releasing all those wolves and mm-hmm. starting that population up again. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of these you know plagues, you know, about. I saw a picture on Facebook. Um, uh, somebody posted, like, what are you going to do? And it was a grizzly bear coming through the front of the tent. And a lot of these plagues are kind of like that. Like, at that point, it's too late. Yeah, I don't even Even if you have a forty five revolver in your hand when he comes in and you're able to get, yeah, get shots yeah. off, he's still going to kill you. He's still You're done for. It. It's too late. And a lot of these, uh, you're just, there's just not much you can do. So really, you should go get your Bible now. Secret of the pros. Mm-hmm. All right, fifth one, the martyrs throughout history, all the Christians that they've been chopping their heads off, right. making them into Feeding candles. The animals. Mm-hmm. Making them into candles. Right, right, Nero. My kid didn't know anything about that. What are you talking about? They never made Christians into candles. Mm. And I'm like, school has failed you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you guys can search Nero if you don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But so all these Christians that have been martyred, turns out they come back and they just freaking bring the death. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Swords, they're just... I always saw it, you know, Mm -hmm. if, if this all happens after I'm gone... I'm going to be one of those guys. Yeah. Now, I don't know how I'm going to die a martyr. You're going to have to do something. But I'm going to, I'm going to work that mm-hmm. part out because they're yeah. bringing the death with a freaking sword. The New Testament part two. <laughs> it just sounds awesome. So I think that's something you might want to get in on. Revenge I don't know. of Jesus. <laughs> it just seems like something we might want to uh, get in on there. Um, the next one, the sixth one, again, can't read the wife's handwriting, um, earthquake, black sun, and something, I don't know what she's writing here, but basically, earthquakes, earthquake, I think that's the one that, uh, all the mountains will be leveled, right, that, that's no good, that's not anything you want any part of, now, I don't know really how you prepare for that, I, the only thing I could think is maybe underground, Mm-hmm. I mean, you're still at risk of it collapsing. Yeah, I mean, get out you. of California. Oh, for one, forget California. But I mean, I think the uh, the martyrs already took care of California. Mm-hmm. There wasn't anything left, so don't even worry <laughs> about it. Um, what's next? The sixth? No, that was the sixth. This. Oh. Then we get a little reprieve between the sixth and seventh. Uh-huh. That's when the hundred and forty-four thousand. Okay. I think if you're a Joho, you think that I'm talking about you right now. It's supposed to be the Jews. Well, yeah, they're supposed to be Jews, but the Jehovah's Witnesses believe it's them. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. no, if you're not a Jew, it's not going to be you. So mm-hmm. if you're thinking like, oh, I'd like to be one of those guys that go handle things, but no, nah, if you're not Jewish, no. Nah. Yeah, you're out of luck. Jehovah's if you Witnesses are Jewish, don't you count. You probably got that whole Krav Maga thing going, mm-hmm. and yeah, that's right. That's right. 
All right. Then the seventh one, I don't know. What, oh, the seventh one is the seven trumpets. So. Okay. I don't know. So that's what I got on that. Um, I just thought something you might want to think about, a little different take on things. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe you're like, ooh, that was a little too much Jesus for me. You guys are scaring me. I don't know if I can have a uh, listen to the Survival and Basic Badass podcast. I'm a little upset. Kevin, has your dose of hedonism for you today? Yeah, well, I was looking into um, Barney. Barney? Uh, you know, the kid's dinosaur. The purple dinosaur. Yeah. Sure. Interesting stuff there. Wait, he's the one who's clean up, clean up, everybody do their share? Yeah, and I My love you, you that. love me. Yeah, yep. that guy's awesome. Yeah, well, uh, the guy that played him. All right. Um, He's, uh, well, he said, the energy I brought up, well, in the costume is based on the foundation of Tantra, which is love. Oh, love. Yeah. Love. So he's teaching nice. Tantra sex so, classes. So, wait, this is Christian. No. No, no. No, no. No, and for $350, okay. if you're a woman, he can teach you, a, give you a four-hour session, uh, women only, um, and the blissful state of Tantra is only achieved through unprotected penetrative sex. Smart. So, for three hundred and fifty dollars, you can have, we'll have sex have with this guy without sex. a condom. Good news! Good. <laughs> I found some place for you to spend your money. <laughs> now this is a this seems like a major scam because I've been trying to pull this for years, but apparently he says that condoms block the energy flow. That's smart. So you know I've been trying to pull this for years and it never never worked for me. Um, oh no! But it is what it is. You know, so Barney's out there. Just remember that. Well, Barney was in that costume. He was working on his uh, tantric <laughs> sex moves. <laughs> Just keep that in your brain when you're watching cartoons with your kid. No more Barney. Barney's no more cut Barney. off. Now, Barney already was cut off. But, uh, all right, what else you got? You got some more uh, exciting news yeah, in the world? Uh, Florida. What happened Another in Florida? interesting story from Florida. The um, uh, Goodwill there okay. received the shipment from another Goodwill store. Uh, in that shipment was a loaded grenade launcher. Sure. With loaded with grenades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was Live wondering. grenades. I was like, what, what would they put in that grenade launcher? <laughs> and the tra- the police tracked it back to the previous store, but they had no idea where it came from. Well, somebody dropped it out back. Yeah, and they said they sent it over because they didn't know what it was. All right. Well, good for you for not being able to spot a grenade launcher in <laughs> with your clothes, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not judging anybody. The wife's like, it's got to go. <laughs> uh, Death clock, the um, doomsday clock. Oh, now yep. we're two minutes. Of, not the not the band, the actual scientist oh. clock. We're two minutes away from doomsday. Um, this came out actually a week ago, so I don't know what the fucking two minutes it, thing is going on. No, so what they're saying is, and I heard it was 30 seconds. Well, it's that, gotten 30 seconds closer. It was was right. two and a half minutes last year. Oh, okay. And now it's 30. Got it. Yep. Well, they're saying, and it's solely because of Trump. Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with us telling Iran they were cool getting you know weapons and giving them a couple billion just right. in case. They were having trouble finding it. No, mm-hmm. but just Trump being elected. That's it. It's the, that's it. It's the end. Done deal. All right, so we're caught up on death clock. Death clock, yep. Uh, the last time it was two minutes away was 1953. That's when everybody was uh, testing out the nuclear bombs. So, All right. Moving up there. <clears throat> well, Trump's a wild child, you know. What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. So, now, I do have a confession. Okay. All right. Now, it turns out, you guys, you've probably been over to... Uh, the Facebook.com slam prepping badass, right? Mm-hmm. Seen uh, our survival prepping you page. Have. Sure you have. Right? I post pictures on there and they have different things, survival camps or how to, uh, you know, do things. I don't know how to make toilet paper out of poison ivy or whatever. Right. You know, I put that kind of stuff up there for you. Well, the confession is I don't actually write Every single thing, like if there's an article about how to make toilet paper from shithitsthefan.com, mm-hmm. I didn't write that. All right. That wasn't me. You didn't me. write that article. That wasn't me. Okay. 
And like, if there's a picture that I didn't take it, mm-hmm. I, I just saw it and was like, Hey, this is interesting. My friends over at the prepping badass there might want to see this. And I share it with you. Sometimes I'll see something funny. Like, uh, I don't know. Some guy will make an awesome knife and I'll write on there. Hey, some guy made this awesome knife. Doesn't it look cool? I want one. That's not actually my knife. Okay. You guys probably didn't know that Facebook worked this way. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought you all knew, but then it's been brought to my attention that everything on Facebook, you know, we have to validate and I don't know. They're Russians. So so here's what happened. So I I go to this uh, AR-15 builder group Mm -hmm. and turns out, I don't like to post pictures of all my guns and my personal business all over the interwebs. Mm -hmm. So I share a picture of an AR-15 and I say, if someone was building a full auto AR-15 or whatever, right? I guess it wouldn't be an AR-15. They have to be wider to be full auto. Whatever. Uh, if somebody was making a, uh, a assault weapon there that was full auto, an M16, if you will, mm-hmm. then what type of scope would you put on there? And everyone's like, oh, my God, you live in New York. How could you want a scope like that? Hmm. And I'm like, oh, you guys got me. Freaking morons. <laughs> this is what we're up against, people. I... Oh, uh, now, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. Why are you so wound up about this? Dude, it was bad. Dude, there were so many haters. They're all like, oh, you're in New York. You, you can't have an AR-15. I don't understand. Why are you asking these things? It's not right. And uh, Haters going to hate. Haters going to hate. So I do want to build some kind of world where... We don't have to deal with this, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's going to happen. Well, it might happen on our Facebook. <sighs> so no haters look, allowed. Don't don't be a dick. All right, if you know, just just be kind to one another. Assume people have good intentions, and don't try and crush Chuck's scope and don't, dreams. Th- why are you trying to freaking crush my dreams? God, you know, I just was like, hey, what would I want to stockpile just in case I come across? A full auto machine gun. Mm-hmm. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, if you Hypothetically, found one. If I found one out in the street, I might have, hey, you know, I got a scope in my pocket. Mm-hmm. And then people are like, well, if you can afford a freaking full auto machine gun, why are you looking for a cheap scope? And I'm like, ah, <laughs> that's because I'm going to steal it out of your house, <laughs> freaking <laughs> moron. So I'm just saying, we, we can up. all get along. All right, peace, love, and happiness. Yeah. All right. Now my uh, yeah, my son was was telling me this story about this World War One monkey. Do you know about the monkey? I don't know about World War One monkeys. Uh, Jackie. Oh well, Jackie, the bonobo yeah, monkey. Is this Jackie the one-legged monkey? It is. It is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tell me more. Bono- uh from South Africa, bonobo monkey went. If this guy found him on his farm, now, bonobo guy. monkey. Yeah, that, that's a type of monkey, or what is that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this guy Albert found this bonobo on his farm, raised it. Then it got drafted for World War One. Sure. Brought the monkey. Everybody loved. Who the hasn't monkey. seen that play? Everybody out. loved the monkey. He was saluting officers and like <laughs> the whole nine yards. And uh, but then they brought a he got. Got uh, brought into uh, with the, um, let's see here, uh, 3rd South African Regiment were on the front line with the, with the monkey. And uh, Albert got shot in the shoulder. And the monkey licked his wound until somebody showed up. Nice. All right. Fine. Did that help or? I don't think so. No. I mean, monkey no. saliva, how healthy is that? It yeah, can't no, even be good for be. you. I've heard of dogs uh, having mm-hmm. some kind of antibacterial thing with licking their own wounds. Yeah, working I don't, out. I don't no. know. Anyway, he got hit with shrapnel. Later on, he they were getting bombed uh, with artillery. And the monkey was running around grabbing rocks, building himself a little castle to live in. Excellent. And he got hit in the leg. 
they were able to save the monkey's life, but they had to amputate the leg. So, you know, Jackie, the one-legged bonobo monkey, he did survive. Uh, went on to live a full life down in South Africa afterwards, and I think he was a, a colonel. They promoted him to colonel when he retired. Excellent. So, I mean, if you're ever going to go uh, get involved with some South Africans, just think about that. Think about that monkey. I like He's it. He's got their back. So you can't really mess with people like that. No, no. Now, this was my son's thing. I thought he was just talking gibberish when he brought this up. But you so I had to do a little bit of, I had to do a little bit of research. As we do with everything we mm-hmm. post on Facebook. Yep. And everything we mention on the Survival and Basic Badass podcast. So just remember, we have your back. That's right. And also, yeah, don't take that Mark of the Beast thing. That's not going to end yeah, well. Not good for you. All right. I'm just saying, I'm looking out for you. With that, stay... Oh, oh, uh, oh let's, um, whoa, whoa. We didn't get any uh, emails this week. Kevin's feeling lonely? Yeah, I'm feeling left out. So email us at uh, survival, uh, badass at gmail.com. Now, I did get some nice support from uh, people on Facebook. A lot of people liked the game day episode a little while back. All right. Um, you guys may be able to show your love with... Uh, business on patreon that's right a good way to you know express hey you know i like you guys i appreciate that you saved me from eternal damnation Mm -hmm. that that was good looking out i got you so whatever you know if that's what you're looking for um so there's that also so you can email kevin at prepping badass at gmail.com uh-huh you want to sign up for our Facebook page, which would be facebook.com slam prepping badass. Right. And see some of the things that I share that may or may not be 100% validated by me. Yeah, apparently I'm going to have to start taking pictures when I'm out in the woods and stuff because We need more pictures. Know. All right. And then also the uh, prepping badass group might be something you're interested in. Mm-hmm. Check us out at preppingbadass.com. Otherwise... Stay safe, and we'll talk to you guys next week.